guys, Ashley Whitmer, and I wanna share with you my favorite three ingredient keto fat bomb today. Okay, so I wanna handle this right off the bat. Peanut butter is a keto friendly. For me, it's accepted. Uh, I live the keto lifestyle. I'm keto inspired. I'm not strict keto. I love peanut butter. And I choose to use the Smucker's natural peanut butter, the creamy. I like to keep it in the fridge. Um, honestly, this the ingredients are peanuts and 1% or less of salt. Like this, check your labels, um, make decisions that work for you. I know there's some people who say peanut butter is an absolute no, 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 no. Some people say it's okay. For me, it's okay. And you need it for this recipe. So you're gonna need peanut butter. Again, this is the kind that I use, the Smucker's Natural Creamy. You're going to need Kerrygold butter, my favorite butter. I love getting it in this little tub. Um, the sticks are nice too because I use it so much, but I always have either the sticks and or the tub in my fridge at all times. So these two always, always, always staples in my fridge. And then you're just gonna need shredded coconut. So I always have this too. Here's the funny thing. I really dislike coconut. Like I have my whole life, but I tried one of these and I was amazed. And not only how delicious it was, how much it really didn't taste like coconut. Uh, it kind of just like tasted more like peanut butter and the coconut gave it like a nice texture, a nice crunch. So I know you're saying this and you're like, that's not keto friendly. It just makes me feel better, I guess. I always have these little, which I'm gonna show you how I make. They don't look, let me, can you get a look at those? Oh my gosh, they smell so good. So that's what they look like when you're done. I always have them in my fridge, always, 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 always for when I get a sugar craving, a sugar attack. Again, it's just kind of cruel torture that they're in a leftover uh, cookie dough jug. Uh, cookie dough jar but the point is is I always 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 have these in my fridge I have them probably every single day I'm not even ashamed to say that so so easy I don't measure I'm sorry about that if you're following my recipes you know I don't measure but what do I do you take this you can take a glass bowl whatever put it in the microwave I put it in maybe a half a cup depends how much you guys want to make you want to try and get the ratio pretty even half a cup maybe of butter half a cup of peanut butter melt it Melt it in the microwave, in your bowl. Stir it up. Pour in some shredded coconut, stir it up until um, until it's like clumping a little bit, all right? Then I just take a baking sheet, put a piece of foil down on it, and take imperfect little spoonfuls and drop them on the baking sheet. Put it inside the freezer for 10 minutes until they form, and then I just peel them off the baking sheet, put them in a container, keep this in my fridge, the smell every time I open this, by the way, I'm like, are you kidding me? I, I'm amazed every time I take a bite of these and I have them every day, how good they really are. So, so easy guys, please try this. This is the perfect thing to satisfy your sweet cravings. It is the perfect keto fat bomb. It is so easy, so easy. I'm telling you, I eat those and my cravings for anything sweet is gone out the window. These, I would love to hear feedback on this. It is one of my absolute absolute favorite things to have. Like I said, I have it on hand all the time. It's always in my fridge. I will go ahead to and link, if you wanna see this on my blog, I'll go ahead and link that in the comments in the description section as well. Please subscribe to this channel too so you can be notified when I add value recipe content and tips. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoy them. Like a battle of mine